In general, all this fuss about the titles of the Sussex children is somewhat far-fetched. Archie and Lilibeth were previously listed on the official website of the royal family, although many doubted that they a. existed at all, and b. had a right to figure in the line of succession. Generally speaking, all this fuss about the titles of the Sussex children is somewhat far-fetched. Archie and Lilibeth were previously listed on the official website of the royal family, although many doubted that they a. existed at all, and b had a right to figure in the line of succession. It was repeatedly reported that it was not the royal family pulling, nor King Charles III, but the Sussexes themselves who were pondering, one has to keep the intrigue, stay in the media spotlight and let the royal experts earn their keep on how to make it better. And of course, this was perceived as fog mashers from Montecito which it was, but Harry and Meghan took pause to think it over and reported, via insiders, that they by no means wanted to give up titles for their children, but preferred that the kids decide for themselves whether or not to use them when they were older. Well, the royal family, which has long accepted the inevitable, for some time had to make a good face at a bad game until the boiling point was reached and they, the royal family, were forced to stop this coquetry Sussex and simply pressed them, titles are due, take it, make it out properly, and leave us alone with your O, oh, we think. Meghan celebrated International Women's Day on the eve of the changes on the royal family's official website, where their children are now listed as Prince Archie of Sussex and Princess Lilibeth of Sussex. She and her girlfriends, who still look more like bodyguards, went to Gracious Madre in West Hollywood for a brunch. The photos, and of course, traditionally appeared on the day of Sussex's triumph. But no one really broke her one anyone. An empty formality. And titles are such a thing, they can be taken away 